On the last part, we designed the create view to add new actors to the database. On this part, we are going to update the actors controller to handle the post request. In Visual Studio, go to the actors controller and then just after the create action result, we are going to create another action result. And the action result is going to be of type HTTP post because we are sending a post request from the create.csharp HTML. So if you scroll up in here, you see that we are going to send a submit. And the submit will be sent to the create action result. So in the actors controller, we have defined the HTTP post. Now let us just define the action result. So for that, I will type public async then we are going to have task and then i action result the name is going to be create so create this create method is going to take an actor parameter so let us import the actor namespace and that is the etickets.models and then here we have actor and then down here we are going to write all the code but if you go back to the create.csharp HTML, you are going to see that we have in here only three fields. So we have the profile picture URL, we have the full name and the biography. So we have just three properties. But if you go to the actor model, in the actor model, we also have the ID. So what we are going to do in here is that in the actors controller, we are just going to bind the properties that we are going to send from the create view. For that, I'll just type in here bind. And then in here, we're going to define inside double quote. So we want to bind the full name. We're going to bind the profile picture URL and the biography. Then down here, we are going to check if the model state is valid. So model state dot is valid. And if the model state is valid, then we are going to add the actor to the database. Now, what does the model state dot is valid check? If you go to the actor model, in the actor model, we just have the display data annotator, but you can also add validations. Like for example, let us say the profile picture URL is required in that case you can just add this decorator required and if when you create an actor do not provide any data the model state will not be valid so let us go back to the actor.c sharp class so the first one is required if you want you can also add in here an error message so error message and profile picture is required let us also do the same for the full name. So required and then full name is required. Let us do the same for the biography as well. So biography is required. Now, if you want, you can also add other validations. Like for example, you can set the full name to be between one and 25 chars. So for example, you can just type in here that the string length is going to be the maximum 50 chars. The minimum length is going to be, let's say three chars. And the custom error message is going to be that the full name must be between three and 50 chars. So let us save the changes and go back to the actors controller. And what we're going to do in here is that if the model state is different from valid, so it's not valid, then we are just going to return the view. And in the view, we are going to pass the actor data. So what happens in this case is that we are just returning the same view, but now it will have the model state errors. Otherwise, in here, we're going to use this service to add an actor to the database. And after the actor is added, we are just going to return to redirect to action. And then the action is going to be the name of the index action. So I'll just add a breakpoint in here. 
and then go to the add actor. So basically just go to the solution explorer, then go to the data folder. Inside the data folder, you have services. Then you open the actors service, scroll down in here to the add method. And what we are going to do is that in the context dot actors, we are going to add an actor. And after you add the actor, we are just going to context dot save changes. Now let us run the app. So the app ran successfully. Let us go to the actors. Then here add a new actor. And here I'm just going to provide a profile picture. But I'm not going to provide any full name or biography. So I'll just click the create button. And you see that when we click the create button, nothing happens. So I'll just press F12. And then go to the console and then click the create button one more time to see if we have any errors. So we see that nothing happens. I'll just close the browser and go back to Visual Studio. In here, then go to the create.csharphtml. And in here, we can see that we have the form, but all the form fields are outside the form tag. And that is why we are not sending a post request. So let us just cut all the values from here. So select them all, Control X, then just paste them inside here. I'll remove the extra spaces and save the changes and then run the application one more time. So here let us go to management and then actors, add new, let us paste the profile picture. So we have the profile picture. Now let us click the create button. And you can see that we reached the breakpoint. And if we are going to check the model state, the model state will not be valid because we have not provided the full name and the biography values. And if you hover on the actor, you'll see that the actor just has the profile picture URL. It doesn't have a biography or a full name. So next, the model state is not valid. And then click continue. And in the view, you can see that we have the errors, the full name is required and the biography is required. So I'll just type in here, let's say AB, but I'm not exceeding the three charts condition. And then click the create button one more time. I'll remove the breakpoint and then click continue. We see that we still have two errors, but now the error is changed from the full name is required to the full name must be between three and 50 chars. Another problem that we have in here is that when something goes wrong with the form, we can see that the profile picture is not reloaded. So let us go back to Visual Studio and fix this problem. In here, go to the create.csharphtml, then scroll down to the scripts section. And then in here, I'll just type that when the document is ready. So when the document is ready, I want to call a function. And this function will be the same as this other function. So just in here. But of course, we are going to replace the this because we want to set a value now to the profile picture URL. So profile picture URL, we want to set the value. So now let us just restart the app. And then here go to management, actors, we're going to add a new actor. So I'll just paste in here a profile picture URL. So now we have the profile picture, click the create button. We have the error, but the profile picture is still in here. So now let us provide a full name. I'll just provide my full name. And the biography is going to be I am a web developer, and then click the create button. Now you can see that the actor was created. And if you scroll down in here, you'll have the profile picture, you have my full name and the description. So the biography. On the next part, we are going to implement the get details functionality.